Assalamualaikum and hi madam. My name is Dahlia Natasha Binti Samsudin. For this video, my group will present the information security issues in UITM. Present to you, this is our members. First, Dahlia Natasha, followed by Farah Nadira, Nur Shahira, Amira Shira, Nur Adrini, and lastly, Nur Anisha. Before we go further, let me introduce the company's background. UITM or University Technology Mara is a public university based in Shah Alam, Selangor. It has grown to become Malaysia's largest higher education institutions in terms of campus, academic, staff and student enrollment. Now, it has 34 campus around the state and more than 170,000 personnel and students enrolled in over 500 programs from undergraduate to postgraduate. There are also Bumiputra and international students in the postgraduate programs. Thus, to deal with the huge amount of its stakeholders' data, the UATM Computer Center was formed in 1970 to assist with the teaching and learning process of mathematics and computer science. In the early 1990s, the Computer Center transformed into Integrated Information System Center. The core system started with the system development of human resource information, financial information, student information, and others. After being restructured in 2011, the name has changed to the Information Technology Office or known as the Infrastructure Department. Now, this department's governance structure consists of Policy and Strategic Divisions, ICT System Management Divisions, ICT Operation Divisions, ICT Procurement Divisions, and ICT Security Divisions. Next, the vision is to make UITM a superior university based on scholarships and academic excellence and to lead Bumi Putra dynamisms in all world-class professional fields so that competitive, global and ethical graduates are born. While the mission is to enhance Bumi Putra expertise and knowledge in all fields through professional program, research and community service involvement conducted based on pure values and professional ethics. Then, the objective is they are committed to helping increase the quality of IT service to create a campus that meets the client's needs and satisfactions in line with UITM's visions to be a world-class university through the quality management system that enhance its effectiveness, values, and professional ethics. Next, I will explain the ICT Security Division which is part of the infrastructure department that I have stated. Throughout this video, we will more focus on these divisions as it is responsible to regulate the university's ICT security against threats such as malware and hacking activity. Then, the regulation scope applies to IT infrastructure, networks, and online applications. It also offers advice and raise awareness of ICT security among UITM people. Moreover, based on the organization chart, there are two units involved with different functions and roles. First, the ICT Security Control and Compliance Unit, which formulates and implements ICT security policies and compliance enforcement. Second, the Information Security and Protection Operations Unit, which manage and regulates ICT security service. Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Farah Adira Binti Adfan and I will continue with the information security issues and the solutions made by the company. The first issue they encounter UITM is data breach. A data breach is a security issue in which external attackers or malicious insider unlawfully obtain access to sensitive data including medical records, financial information or personally identifying information. So based on the interview session, we were informed that nearly a million UATM students and alumni had personal information exposed online between 2008 and 2018. All UATM campus across the country have been impacted, affecting the records of 1,164,540 students. Mr. Kamarudin stated that Vice Chancellor has denied that the university's computer system had been compromised in a statement. This is because the internal formatting system used by UITM does not correspond to the screenshots of the stolen data. The solution and approach that UITM has taken for the data breach are by installing the web application firewall and also intrusion prevention system. 
WAF is a firewall application that filters and monitors HTTP traffic between web application as well as the internet to protect them. According to Mr. Kamarudin, up to 1,099 websites and application web system have been set up with web application firewalls. Moreover, in order to detect malicious behavior and well-known attack patterns, intrusion prevention system actively analyze the network traffic. And lastly, the IPS will create reports, help alert security administrators and record data regarding the observed incidents. The second information security issue faced by UATM is a phishing attack. Phishing is a type of cyber attack that use disguised email as a weapon, malicious links and attachment that can extract credential or student's account information are distributed by the attacker using phishing emails. According to Mr. Kamarudin, their teams have received a complaint from students in which they have received a suspicious email through the student email account. Some of the students have already clicked on the given link because they thought that the link is from UITM, so their personal information has been invaded by unauthorized person outside UITM. So the solution that UITM has taken is by building the email gateway. A sort of email server called email gateway guards the UITM internal email servers. Mr. Kamarudin said that every UITM application system will use an email gateway to send emails to users. Next, based on the system integration guideline of UITM, the officers need to utilize the secure socket layer or transport layer security, network security protocols on the application server level to safeguard the information's integrity and confidentiality while it is being sent through the application system. That's all from me. Thank you. Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Noor Shara Binti Razaman and I will continue this presentation with the third and fourth information security issues and the solutions made by UITM. The third information security issue for UITM is malware attack and it's a common form of software attack. Malware, whether a virus, worm or trojan, is software designed to cause damage to a computer system and can compromise the data contained in it. UITM also cannot avoid this issue as they have previously become the victim of malware attacks, specifically virus attacks. The attacks occur when several UIT employees downloaded and opened malicious files from the internet which cause minimal damage to UITM internally. Luckily, the ICT security division at UITM was able to prevent the virus from becoming widespread. In addition, Mr. Kamarudin, the senior officer of information technology, stated that the virus attack is likely to happen again if the UITM staff lack cybersecurity knowledge regarding malicious files on the internet. Hence, this is why malware, particularly the virus attack, is one of the crushing information security issues for UITM. Therefore, the solution that has been made by UITM regarding this virus attack is by installing antivirus software. UITM has installed antivirus software from the F-Secure brand on all 28,000 computers across 35 campuses to safeguard the computers and data stored in it from viruses. The installation of antivirus software is done to ensure the screening for viruses and yearly actions such as blocking and deleting the virus can be implemented as soon as possible to minimize the risk of several virus attacks. Finally, the last information security issue for UITM is password attacks which fall under the category of espionage or trespass. According to Mr. Kamarudin, his division will always conduct extra supervision regarding these password attacks as UITM is the largest public university in Malaysia with 35 campuses throughout the nation and it stores a significant amount of personal information and data of students and staff. The staff member who have the access to these information assets will somehow become the target of the hacker. Moreover, this information security issue concerns the ICT security division because UITM system applications are integrated into web single sign-on which allows users to access several software applications and programs with the same username and password. For example, if the hacker are able to crack the password of SSO users, therefore, they are able to access all of the applications that are part of the UITM system. This is more worrisome if the user creates a simple password.
Hence, the solution made by UITM regarding this issue is by developing a change password policy that is based on the ICT Security Policy 2.0. With this new policy, the user of SSO needs to change the password every 6 months or 188 days. If the staff members, lecturers or students do not update the password, they will not be able to access any of the UITM system applications such as the iStaff portal, STARS or student portal. Moreover, the new password made for SSO needs to follow the ICT security password policy such as the password needs to be at least between 8 to 60 characters including numbers and symbols. And now, I will pass to the next presenter. That's all from me. Thank you. Every year, UITM ICT Security Division will hold a meeting with the several departments such as the data center. It is called the Risk Owners Committee meeting which will convene three times a year according to the set of KPI to discuss and evaluate all the existing risks. UITM ICT Security Division have five layers of risk management practices. The first layer is security policy. This policy safeguards not just data and technology but also specific personnel as well as the entire business. Their security guidelines raise information security awareness among UITM employees. The listings uh, of their security policies are Information Security Management System uh, certified by CIRIM QAS, Dasar ICT uh, UITM, Dasar Keselamatan ICT, Garis Panduan ICT and Garis Panduan SSO. The second layer is Network Security which keeps an eye on and safeguards the UITM network perimeter at the critical point um, where their private network meets the World Wide Web. The software that UATM uses to safeguard its data and information is McAfee, Fortinet and Statigo. The third layer is Vulnerability Program that maintains antivirus, anti-spyware, anti-spam, Windows updates and more. The software they uh, employ for the uh, protection is F-Secure and Symantec Mail Gateway. Layer 4 is Access Control. It is a security method that limits who or what is allowed to access resources um, in a computing environment. It is here that the infrastructure suggests employing complicated passwords and regularly updating them to prevent unwanted access to the UATM system. Microfocus NetIQ is the program they uh, utilize for this layer. Layer 5 is Protect and Backup Plan. Data must be encrypted and servers must backup data as it changes according to the UATM ICT Security Division. The Data Center uh, oversees this duty. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Anisha Nabiha. So I will continue with the risk management methods. The University Technology Moral Risk Management Guide states that in order to choose the optimal cost of action in creating a mitigation strategy, the identified risk must be managed. Risk management methods include First, stop or avoid Stop or refrain from engaging in dangerous activities such as avoiding those that could damage the university's reputation Second, reduce Reducing the level of loss or the likelihood that loss would happen as well as exposure to a risk by setting up a fire extinguishing system to put out the fire for example, to lower the risk of loss from fire Third, transfer. By sharing or transferring risk to other parties, such as by purchasing a fire or catastrophe insurance policy, one might minimize losses or costs. Lastly, accept. Accept losses or profit when a risk typically modest and manageable occurs or when the risk must be accepted because it will be more expensive to treat than it will be to suffer a loss if it materializes. Hi, my name is Nur Adrimi and now I will present discussion. The interview session that has been carried out of the ICT Security Division by Infrastructure Department has provided us with a great deal of insight into the information security issues that are related to the education industry, specifically at UITM Shah Alam Selangor. For your information, this division is responsible for controlling ICT security for the university from any threat such as malware attacks and hacking activities. Throughout the interview, we have also identified several information security issues with solutions in order to reduce the risk. Among the issues that have been mentioned by the ICT Security Division are data breach, email phishing, software attacks, malware, and espionage or trespass password attacks. The solution for the data breach issue is by implementing web application firewall, while email phishing can be solved by building an email gateway. 
Next, to solve the issue of software attacks, malware, UITM is currently using the F-Secure software brand for the antivirus installation. And lastly, the solution to reduce password attacks is by developing a change password policy based on ICT Security Policy 2.0. Then, the ICT Security Division also has its own risk management practices. Risk management is the act of discovering, assessing and evaluating the risk that an organization confronts. This division has five layers of risk management practices which consists of security policy, network security, vulnerability program, access control and protect and backup plan. After obtaining various input from the ICT Security Division, we discovered that many challenges must be overcome, especially when working on this department. Thus, there are a few opinions on how to handle these challenges. Firstly, we must be constantly alert and ready for any potential threat, especially when handling big data. Secondly, it is crucial to ensure the team keep up to date with the current information security issues. Thirdly, budget allocation should always be considered first to implement the most recent antivirus installation. And lastly, we should enhance our knowledge of information security in order to protect ourselves from fraudulent activities. So that's all from me. Thank you. In conclusion, despite having 67 years of experience and around 34 campus branches in Malaysia, UITM is still vulnerable to security issues and cyber attacks. No amount of experience or size can guarantee that an organization will be safe from security issues or attacks. Some of the problems that UITM face are data breach, email phishing, software attacks like malware, and espionage or trespass like password attacks. All of these issues have had an impact on UITM's operation since they have led to the loss of crucial data or information, loss of integrity, unauthorized access to the data, harm to the organization's reputation, and several other issues. Any organization is susceptible to cybersecurity attacks at any time. However, UITM takes serious issues relating to the university's information and communications technology and as a result, UITM has a thorough policy on ICT security to guard against unauthorized access to personal information and official records. Therefore, the ICT security division of UITM has done its best regarding their information security. That's all from us. Thank you.